Hey Cancers, welcome to your singles reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. But I do personal readings and I'll leave my contact details in the description box, okay guys? Along with information about what decks of cards I use in all my videos. As there's a lot of different decks, I'll leave the name in the description box, okay? So, singles, let's see who's coming towards you here, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it does show you getting to know somebody here. Playfulness. Okay, very playful, very flirty. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So get out. Have fun, guys. Calling in your soulmate. Okay, so your prayers, affirmations and visualizations will bring you guys together here. So, let's see who you have coming towards you, because you're certainly calling in a soulmate who you'll be getting to know here. Okay, guys, so let's see who you're calling in. Oh, Queen of Wands, somebody very attractive, very creative, a go-getter here, somebody who likes a lot of action. Sounds good so far. Somebody you're very, you'll find very attractive, though. Ooh, the world. So somebody you're going to start a serious cycle with, okay? A serious new beginning coming up there that will last a long time. Major arcana there, so it will be a cycle that lasts a long time, a relationship that lasts a long time here. Ooh, meditation. So this is um, about taking care of yourself. Also, I'm drawn to these lines here so i believe this is you calling in your soulmate here so whatever you're doing manifesting or whatever like that it's working here um the more you look after yourself the stronger it becomes okay it's about um self-care being also important oh ten of wands letting go of what's no longer serving you along with the meditation here so during this time really look out for yourself okay if other people are trying to put their problems and burdens on you here um you may have to say no to some people just so that you have time to look after yourself um you know time to focus on yourself here with the meditation card let go of what's not serving you so if it's quite stressful um other people um, you know, always wanting things from you and wanting you to do for them, but not giving anything back in return. You're going to have to learn to say no to that. Okay, guys, let go of the burden, the tower. If you don't take care of yourself and um, learn to say no here, it's just going to add more stress onto you. Okay, so it people don't realize that it actually affects their romantic life as well. Okay, so this could be what's holding your soulmate up here okay um the fact that you might be quite stressed with other things during this time but it'll come in it's coming let's see if we can see when knight of cups so somebody is going to make you an offer here a very romantic offer they want to romance you this is probably why you have to learn to say no to other people so you have time because this person wants to spend a lot of time with you wants to spoil you here it might be quite shocking with the tower card um with somebody you know beginning to chase you I f i'm feeling with the queen of wands and the knight of cups that's somebody chasing you here um i feel like they may have a blue car Okay, so a blue or a like light coloured car. Three of Cups, yeah. So it is, um, it, although it may be quite shocking here, um, this person coming in, um, you'll be quite happy with this offer, okay? I see you having like drinks with them, so it can be coffee, a glass of wine or something here. And really enjoying yourself. So it's like somebody's going to ask you out on a date. You may be quite shocked at who it is, okay? But give them a chance here. Get to know them because you've called in this soulmate. If you are, you know, saying no to everybody you ask, then, you know, you won't be able to get to know them. 
So usually when they're getting to know each other, the card comes up. It's usually, you know, somebody who's not usually your type. So you need to spend more time getting to know them. And that's what I see you doing here. Going for drinks. Like I say, it can be a coffee or something. This person really wants to romance you here. Four of Cups. What did I say? If you're not accepting offers here, um, you know, then it's harder for a soulmate to come in. I feel like you're calling somebody in, but you may be like, you may be practicing affirmations and wanting a soulmate to come in, but really cutting yourself off from the world here. This Four of Cups is about being an introvert, okay? So remember to accept offers as well, okay? Accept these inv invites here. Maybe you're scared to make an offer because you're scared of getting rejection. So you feel like, well, no offers are coming here. Nobody's asking me out. But like I said, this Four of Cups is an introvert. So sort of cut off from the world expecting an offer. You've got to get out there, guys. Seven of Wands. Yeah, the more you're in this mode, no time to get out and enjoy yourself. The more difficult it is, the more challenges you'll see. Um the more time it'll take for your soulmate to be able to, you know, come into your life. Because I feel like you're you're doing the work, calling them in, but I, I don't I don't know. You they just they're finding it challenging to make you an offer, so they can't bump into you right now. You need to get out there more. Two of Cups there. Okay, so it is a soulmate you are calling in here. Oh, two. Okay, so for some of you, it may be a soulmate like that you can't let go of yet, okay? So you need to work on that if you're still like attached to somebody, okay? Somebody you can't let go of four of pentacles there. That may be why you're seeing challenges and a new soulmate coming in and making you an offer here because um, you may be still a little bit unnerved by past experience with the world card there maybe a third party experience has got you you know a little bit concerned with what's coming next but it does seem like somebody wants to romance you for a long term here okay they'll take the action towards you you're calling them in but you know take care of yourself make sure you have time to date people as well because if you're taking on everybody else's responsibilities because you're free at the moment that's also a blockage okay but a soulmate does want to come here somebody does want to be with you okay and like i say it's building a strong foundation here the more you get to know them and talk to them okay just be open to accepting offers okay you've got to get yourself out there if you want to meet somebody good luck guys